What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. It's our knots coverage uh, that we have uh, for this week. We are talking tickets, what you should know when buying tickets, what ticket best suits you. There's a couple different ticket options um, this season, and we want to try to pick the right ticket for you, and we're going to give you all the information, the breakdown of uh, the different tickets they have to offer for this year at Not Scary Farm. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Let's start with our first one, obviously, general admission. Um, you know, it's just a standard ticket that gets you through into the park and uh, waiting all the normal lines uh, for both rides and walkthrough attractions and shows. So uh, this is always a good one to get. They have really good deals. And I would say out of most haunts, uh, this is one of your cheapest haunts to go to. And But for it being cheap, it's actually a really, really great haunt. Um, but tickets start at $50 for this one. Uh, that's not including, uh, you know, taxes and fees. Uh, and this one, if you buy online now, save up to $39 off the main gate price at the park. Not season pass holders save up to an additional $5 for Scary Farm admission. And, of course, later on in the season, you know, just like Horror Nights, uh, if you buy for later in the season, you're going to be paying a little bit more. Um, and that's just because, you know, that's when – it gets more popular, and that's when they starts getting a lot more crowded. So, uh, keep in mind if you're going to buy a not scary farm ticket, buy them probably earlier in the season. That way, you can get a killer deal. And if you are an annual pass holder, definitely use that to your advantage because you do get a discount. I think we were just, we were just looking at them. Uh, it was fifty six dollars for non pass holders and fifty one dollars for pass holders when we go September eighteenth. So. Yeah. Um, definitely keep that in mind. If you are a pass holder, take advantage of your pass holder discount because it will save you a few bucks uh, that you can save up to use inside the event. Sammy, what do you uh, think about the uh, the ticket prices this year, man? They are ridiculous. So I'm going to tell you first and foremost, buy your ticket online. Yes. Because if you're buying at the gate, if I do my number math correctly, if my college degree means anything <laughs> – you're going to pay $89 at the gate regardless. Wow. So the most expensive ticket online is 72 based upon the what me going through and clicking them all. So either way, that's saving you 17 bucks. Plus, as Tony mentioned, as a pass holder, you're getting a discount anywhere between 2 to $5. So um, that may not seem like a lot, but let's just say you're bringing four people and you're saving five. That's $20 saved plus the additional 30 or plus the – the additional 39 there so you know it really uh really it adds, adds up. up yeah because it's it gonna also up. that's also will you know cover you yeah. know think about in you know merchandise uh food drinks um all that fun stuff and yeah. you can use that money towards that kind of stuff so yeah or you know, you know or save it or you know or save it <laughs> you know or go to mcdonald's down the street it's a lot cheaper yeah you know i mean i eat do before that all you, the time so eat before you go yeah. Drink wall before you go and, you know, save your money. Also, uh, uh, this is not ticketing, but uh, Sammy and I highly suggest if you guys are going multiple nights, um, which I, I don't know how you can afford that, but if you guys can, uh, kudos to you. <laughs> um, but if you are going or, multiple nights. Or you're the lucky ones that went, oh, hey, those tickets on sale for a season pass. Yeah, already a season have a pass season pass on, yeah. Part. Um, uh, let me just add that already. We highly suggest. Or you bought them in 2020. Yeah, <laughs> we highly suggest that uh, you buy the uh, annual or the season uh, sipper cup, the uh, yeah. all, the unlimited refill one, uh, all season long. Um, Sammy and I did that in 2019, and that saved us so much money. Yeah. I think it was like what 30, 40 bucks or something like that. Yeah, um, some it wasn't super expensive, but you get a refill every 15 minutes. Yeah, every 10 minutes. So, and it, it really comes in handy. You really get your money's worth because you're looking about anywhere from five to uh, seven dollars for like a large drink. Uh, and, uh, when you do the math all season, like Sammy and I were getting, I think like three or four refills a night. So when you do the, when you do the math all season, you're actually saving a ton of money. So highly suggest that just, just a little fun fact I throw in there, but Sammy talk about a little bit buffet. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm going to touch on the sippy cup too thing or so souvenir cup, whatever the fudge they want to call it. Um, <laughs> because you're a season pass holder, you can use that during the day too. Yeah. Um, so it's not only going to benefit you at the scary farm, but it's going to be, it'll benefit you in your day to day, but onto the buffet. Uh, one great thing about the buffet is, um, you do get a sippy cup for the day. Um, so I think that's a great, uh, great thing. Yeah. Cause like he, Tony said, you can get those free refills, stay hydrated all night. It's a long day. 
a lot of walking. Um, and depending on when you're going in the season, it could be a little warm. Um, and another thing too, you want to keep a you want to keep a full belly. Um, and so one great way to do that is going to the buffet, which is forty five dollars plus taxes and fees. Um, and so it's going to get you a nice little dinner where you can fill up on some amazing food, um, as well as you're going to get you that sippy cup or souvenir cup, as they call it. You'll get a photo download plus a little early access to the event. So if you're just getting that general admission ticket along with the buffet, um, you know, you can hit those mazes in, in their quote unquote back lot um, and, and, you know, get a real good head start. So that way you can, um, you know, really enjoy the entire event once it starts to the general public and hit all of the mazes inside the normal park. Maybe catch a couple of shows as well. So it's something we recommend. Um, I know that uh, our boy Rob, um, aka the Howling Hour, uh, uh, does that every year, does the buffet, um, and he highly recommends it. So uh, if he says it's good, I trust him that it's good. This will be our first year doing it. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, we're excited because we like to eat. We of like course. to enjoy the All park. You buffet. Yeah. Um, and, um, yeah, we get a picture, so I, I, I count it as a win. Not on top, on top of that, too, it's a really good way to uh... – interact with some of the monsters that you don't get to do when the show starts because um you know they're in full gear in character and everything so you get to actually interact with a lot of the monsters you get that yeah. exclusive photo that souvenir cup for uh, unlimited refills that night and you get to hit those uh, mazes back in gypsy camp uh, early which is four mazes to get out of the way which usually are the four most packed so yeah um definitely check that out your tv and you get to use the cup and you yeah. can use the cup the rest of the season you just have to pay like your TV went on. A your TV went on Amazon now. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna switch it up. We'll go to the YouTube channel. There you go. Perfect. Go subscribe, by the way. Look at that. Um, next thing we're gonna want to talk about is uh, something we highly suggest if you're only going one night for the event. Obviously, a lot of people this year are um, because the fact that there is no scary farm annual passes, which we'll get into later. Um, but the uh, Not Scary Farm Fright and Fast Lane. It is definitely a a win-win scenario if you're going only one night for the season um, to check out every, guaranteed check out every maze and attractions that are open. Um, that starts from uh, $99 with, of course, um, taxes and fees. Uh, uh, that's not including taxes and fees, but uh, it basically says receive unlimited priority access for all mazes plus priority boarding on all Fast Lane rides, including Silver Bullet, Ghost Rider, and more. Ride and scream as many times as you want all night long. Uh, admission to Not Scary Farm is not included. So, on top of uh, you know this um, this fright and fast lane, you actually have to buy admission to the event as well. So you got to buy a general admission ticket, and then you got to buy the fright and fast lane pass. Um, the good part is compared from this one to Halloween Horror Nights, uh, you get to go unlimited amount to mazes and attractions all night. So. It is definitely, I think, a big bang for your buck if you are going that one time, or if you're coming from out of, um, if you're coming from out of state, it, it's it's very it's very uh, a, a good option for you. We're going to be doing it for the first time with the buffet as well, uh, so we're very excited to be uh, doing that this year. It's something new for us for Not Scary Farm, and we cannot wait to see what that has to offer, and maybe opens up the future of probably doing it every year. So, yeah, and as Tony said, you can get. Unlimited amount of time. So if you want to go through Mesmer 15 times, you can. You can do that. You can you break hit records Origins. at the event, bro. <laughs> if you want to hit Origins 10 times, go for it. Go for Think it. That if you witch. want to ride Silver Bullet five times in a row, you could do it. Yeah, don't do that. Go during the day for that. <laughs> Well, I'm just but if saying, you want to if hit you, it once. Well, I mean, hold on. If you have Unlimited, though, I mean, you're going to be skipping lines and waiting like five minutes the most, probably. Might as well. I mean, obviously yeah. do all the mazes and things first, but, you know, yeah. if you're done with the mazes and you want to ride some rides, you know, go for it. You know, you have the yeah, fright. Yeah, go for it. You have the fright and fast lane pass, so go for it. Fright and fast lane, baby. And you can ride the fright and fast lane silver bullet as you look at Forsaken Lake yes. and all those great scares. If you want to go through the best maze there, Pumpkin Eater, like five times, go for it. Yeah. You don't even need the fright and fast lane. Just go for it. <laughs> Uh, um, you, but, want uh, to, you want to touch a little bit about uh, well, okay, go ahead. And yeah, you, you know, you know, I'm going, buddy. Yeah. Uh, so next up, uh, we got you in the park, got you that buffet, got you that fried and fast lane. 
But before you even arrive to the park, you got to park. Um, and so parking does start at $25 for most vehicles. If you if you're coming up in style on that RV or, or that bus, bus <laughs> you're going to have to pay 30 bucks. Uh, and a- another option is preferred parking. Now, is that new? Because I don't even remember them offering that. I don't remember them offering that either. And that's 40 bucks. But you know, my fat butt is like, ooh, 40 bucks. And I don't have to walk, especially at the end of the night after you've done like 15 laps with Tony through the park and his giant steps. You may want preferred parking. Hey, hold on. At least it's not like it's not like Horror Nights with TLEV where we have to go up and down hills. At least it's all flat yeah. ground there. Yeah, I thank God it's flat ground. <laughs> Oh, I was going to be making me climb up and down Silver Bullet. Oh, shit, man. Don't even get me. Nope. We're good. We don't. Luckily for us, we don't fit on the ride, so we just go to enjoy the mazes. Yeah, we're going to go in Halloween Hoot Nanny. We're going to go gonna, in Halloween We're going to go, you know, Origins and the new maze. Like, you know, we're going to back and forth it. And in between that, you know, back and forth, we're going to catch Puppet Up and, and Goring 20s. So, yeah, we have a good night. We're going to have a good night. Um, hey, stay tuned for our strategic, strategic plan later on. Yes, we're gonna either. be. Releasing. I don't know when the videos. Are, I don't know when the videos are coming out. I don't know either. I got a lot to edit, so it, it's gonna come out. It's come out out before the damn event starts. So you can yeah. promise that. Um, the last thing we want to talk about um, before we get to something else is uh, the hotel uh, packages. Now we did talk about this briefly on a past knots video uh, when they started releasing new, um, you know, the scare zones and whatnot. So we uh, are just kind of give you an update that this is part of one of the ticket packages. If you've ever wanted to stay at the Knott's Berry Farm Hotel, uh, you know, and it's right there from property, literally a, a little walk up the street, um, it, it's probably something to do some, especially like, again, if you're coming from out of state or if you live pretty far away, uh, this is a good option right here. Starting from $87 per person per night, um, based around about four people. Uh, it's a scream and dream with a Knott's Scary Farm Hotel package. Play late and stay just steps away from the park. Nightmares are guaranteed. So um, I think that's a good deal for people, like I said, for people who are out of state or live pretty far away and, and just don't want to drive back after the event. Uh, this is a pretty good uh, deal for $87 a night at the Knott's Hotel, uh, starting at $87 a night. Um, like I said, the earlier you go, the cheaper it's going to be. Um, so that's a good little, uh, thing. If you guys want to stay on property, go maybe for the whole weekend. Um, and this is probably your best bet right here. So those are all the ticket options that are available. Now let's talk about the ticket option. That's not available. That have pissed a lot of the community <laughs> off this, this week. And okay. that, that is going to be the Knott's scary farm season pass that was only released for annual pass holders secretly and then sold out. And then they never gave any information about if they were going to be coming this year uh, and then when the tickets dropped, everyone had to find out through Twitter that we're not getting it this year. Sammy, elaborate. All right. So as Tony said, both of us, many others, quite upset that uh, there was not a general admission season pass offered. And there really was no publicity around the pass being offered. Um, but I, I, as I've sat and reminisced on the good times, I've also remembered, hey, we had a pandemic. And in that, they actually released season passes the year prior. Um, And so in 2020, they did begin to sell their not season passes for 2021. And not being a good company, as much as we're, like I said, as much as we're upset, uh, they did say who, if you bought a pass in 2020, it's going to be good for 2021. So there was season passes sold then, as well as there was that brief time when they were selling. Um, and so, you know, there are some lucky individuals that did get it, um, but, but it sucks. But looking forward to next year, because uh, we can't dwell in the past on, and on the things we can't control. I will say 2022's Scary Farm Pass is on sale right now as an add-on. So if you want to get a not season pass, which you can, which will be good for the rest of this year and Next year, I think the only time it's not good is from December 17th through December 31st um, with the, for the rest of this year. Um, so you can buy your 2022 season pass now um, and do the add-on for just $99. So if you want to get your season pass for next year, you can do it now. Yeah, uh, But you do actually have to buy an official not season pass. Um, Those are... Which you can't make monthly payments. Yeah. So um, you would just have to pay sixteen fifty today, 
and then you have, for eleven months you have to pay eight dollars and fifty cents. Yeah, so plus I'll, the additional ninety five. I'll give I'll give a little bit of my two cents on the situation. Um, I I will say I was fairly disappointed that they didn't release any season passes this year, at least like a limited supply. Um, their reasoning behind it was due to capacity for the event, and I understand we're still during a pandemic and whatnot. Um. I just think it was, you know, I think the community would have been a little bit more not enraged if they would have came out and said, by the way, we're not releasing any season passes, you know, prior to tickets going on sale because, you know, since they sold out with the extension, everyone, and they never confirmed that they were going to release more, they were going to have more, they just kind of quietly put those up and then they sold out and then they never really said anything about it. Um we were always just kind of speculating like, oh, maybe they'll just, you know, come out with some more when tickets go on sale. So we were kind of patiently waiting and just speculating. Um, again, nothing was ever confirmed that they were going to have them this year. We, Like I said, we were just speculating, hoping that they were going to have more. Um, so we were I was more upset of the fact that they didn't really kind of publicly, you know, announce something prior to tickets going on sale saying, like, we're not doing any season passes this year. You know, I think if they would have said that, the community would have been not as pissed off, but they would have still been pretty mad. But just not as pissed off as just finding out through a tweet. So um, it is what it is. You know, I am I bummed out? Yeah, because, you know, Knott's is literally 15 minutes up the way from me, and it's it's a good close haunt that if I want to get my fix and just go somewhere, I can go to Knott's for the night and just kind of hang out with friends and, and see a lot of my friends work and whatnot. Um, but like Sammy said, we can't dwell on the past. We got to look forward to the future. Hopefully next year uh, will be a little bit a better year, a, a more kind of normalcy next year. So hopefully we'll have season passes next year back. And, you know, you best be knowing Sammy and I will jump on that. But uh, with that being said, it, it actually opens the door for us to experience new haunts this year and go check out more and support more of our, you know, favorites like the home haunts and stuff, you know, because without the home haunts of last year, there would have been no haunt season at all. So we owe it to the home haunts this year to keep supporting every year and uh, go check them out. And, and you know, our plan this year is to get a lot of the major stuff out of the way in the beginning. That way, when it comes towards mid-October to, to late October, we can go hit a lot of the home haunts when they officially open up. So we're looking forward to this year as well. Uh, we have a couple knots trips due planned, though, so we're still going to go support some of our friends that are working. We are very excited this year. It's going to be a fun year, and the new maze looks very promising, um, a lot of fun. New Scare Zone looks amazing. Pump It Up's coming back. We couldn't be more excited about that. A lot of new shows coming uh, as well throughout the park, so we're going to go be checking a lot of those out. But what do you guys think about ticket prices and tickets this year? Let us know down in the comments what ticket you guys are going to be purchasing and uh, what dates you guys are going. We can't wait to hear all that. Um, but with that being said, if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button with that bell notification. Be aware every time we put up a video and give us a like on this video because it helps the YouTube algorithm out to uh, – push our content out there for so we can inform more people um and also hit us up on uh, instagram at the knights of horror and twitter at knights of horror um uh until then any more knots updates comes out or um we have more knots content planned uh stay tuned because we have a shit ton of videos coming out so i'm working tirelessly to get them all edited so <laughs> any last words for you sammy say golden pony boy and, and don't forget to ask yourselves, have you been edutained? You're moving into a